Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the current status of Hurricane Milton? Hurricane Milton is currently a significant threat to the west coast of Florida. As of late Tuesday, the storm was located approximately 405 miles southwest of Tampa, with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour, 260 kil hour. Milton had previously reached Category 5 status over the Gulf of Mexico, marking a rapid intensification that was described as Null Explosive Null and Null Remarkable Null by the National Hurricane Center. However, it has since weakened to a Category 4 hurricane, with wind speeds around 155 miles per hour as it approached Florida. Despite the slight decrease in intensity, forecasters expect Milton to remain a major hurricane as it makes landfall. The latest predictions suggest it will likely make landfall late Wednesday or early Thursday, possibly as a Category 3 hurricane, with wind speeds around 125 miles per hour. The storm's path has been adjusted slightly southward from Tampa, but the exact trajectory remains uncertain. This adjustment has significant implications for the potential impact on the Tampa Bay area, which is home to over 3.3 million people and has not seen a major hurricane in over 100 years. Mandatory evacuation orders have been issued across 11 counties in Florida, affecting approximately 5.9 million people. Authorities are strongly advising those in evacuation zones to leave immediately, warning that staying behind could be life-threatening. The storm surge is a major concern, with predictions of up to 10 feet in some areas, which could engulf entire houses. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor emphasized the gravity of the situation, stating that those who choose to stay in evacuation areas are at risk of serious harm or death. In preparation, state and local authorities have been clearing debris from previous storms, and over 300 dump trucks have been deployed to remove debris to prevent it from becoming dangerous projectiles during the storm. Additionally, emergency responders from California, including teams from the Urban Search and Rescue Force, are being dispatched to aid in search and rescue missions and support emergency operations in Florida. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.